Rocky with Equity Real Estate and Utah Home Sweet Home. And in today's video, I'm going to share a really cool tip on, it's kind of a crafty, artsy tip on how to figure out the perfect layout for frames that you're looking to hang up on your wall. So let's say you've got a bunch of pictures that you want to hang on your, in your family room or in your living room. And all these different frames are of different sizes. Maybe one frame is of your whole family. Maybe a smaller frame of just your kids. Maybe even a smaller frame of your pets. But you've got a bunch of frames of all different shapes and sizes. You know, one of the things that we do when we remodel homes and we put them on the market to sell is we stage our houses with beautiful furniture, artwork, frames. And so we need to know the best layouts on the walls to give the house the coolest uh, effect. And so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain to you how we go about doing that using these three frames behind me. Now, just in case you're curious, uh, I actually also happen to be an inventor and I own a U.S. patent from the U.S. government and this is my patent right here. So when I became an inventor and was issued the U.S. patent, uh, the government sent me my patent documentation and this is, uh, this is my patent right here hanging in my office wall. So anyways, let's get back to the topic. So here's what you're gonna do to hang all your frames in a really cool layout. So you're gonna go to the craft store and you're gonna buy a roll of paper, a big roll of paper. And uh, you're gonna come back and you're gonna cut out a piece of paper the, s the same shape and size of all your frames. Okay, so you're gonna basically uh, all trace on the piece of paper your frame, you're gonna lay the frame onto the paper, pencil it out and then cut that piece of paper the size of your frame. So you're going to do that with all of your frames. So you're going to have all these pieces of paper, different shapes and different sizes. Well now you have all these pieces of paper that are the same size and shape of your frames and you're going to take some scotch tape and simply start taping them up onto the wall. Now the beautiful thing about that is if you don't like the layout, you can simply take the uh, untape the uh, paper off the wall and rearrange it. Now, once you have your papers all taped on your wall in the perfect layout, then you're simply going to take your nail and hammer through the paper where the nail should go based off of uh, the attachment on the frame. So you're going to go through and you're going to start hammering the nail through each of your papers on your wall. Now that the nail is in your uh, now that the nails, I should say, are inside your wall, you can then remove the paper and start to hang your frames and you now have the perfect layout without having to create a bunch of holes in your walls through trial and error to figure out the perfect layout of how to uh, hang all the frames on your wall. Alright, I hope you guys found this video very helpful kind of a crafty, artsy video, um, but one type of strategy that we implement often when we flip our houses because we have to stage our houses, so it's a cool little trick, cool little tip that I learned that I hope that you guys find useful and helpful. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more useful real estate tips, and if you have any qu uh, questions or comments, don't forget to ask them in the comment section below. And again, I want to thank you so very much for watching. It's Yoshi Shiraki with Utah Home Sweet Home.